Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Friday, September 10th, 2021. Let's talk about the bets I like for week one of the NFL. I'll also throw in a college pick. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I want people to think for themselves. I'm just sharing the plays that I like. First, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. Getting six and a half points at Buffalo. Right, I think Buffalo's running game is questionable. I think the Steeler defense is underrated. I like the idea of Ben Roethlisberger in September Right, If he's older and his body's breaking down, well, let's bet on him when he's healthy. Next, in college football, I'm a Pac-12 guy. I just was not that impressed by Ohio State week one. I like Oregon getting 14.5 points. That point five is crucial. On the road at Ohio State. Again, Oregon plus 14.5 at Ohio State. Next, I like the San Francisco 49ers on the road at Detroit because it's early in the season and we haven't had an opportunity to see the teams in games that count. I'm taking the money line here, the minus 390. Right, I'm not going to touch that big point spread. I'm just taking San Francisco on a money line. Next, this is a game I've changed my view on. I like the Washington football team at home laying a point over the Los Angeles Chargers. Right, The Chargers have a new head coach. Things are different. Now, I'll agree, Washington has a new quarterback. But Washington has some continuity. Same head coach, spectacular defense. They're at home. I like them laying a point. Next, I like, and this bet was made a few days ago. It was made on September the 8th. So I got a minus 150 on the money line. I like the Seattle Seahawks over the Indianapolis Colts. Let's just say any time I'm able to get Russell Wilson over Carson Wentz, I'm going to take it. Also, I'm someone who likes continuity. Too much is new with the Colts. I also don't like the fact that T.Y. Hilton is out. Next, on the 8th of this month, I got the Atlanta Falcons at a minus 160 at home over the Philadelphia Eagles, right? I'm bullish on the Falcons. At a minimum, I'm expecting the Falcons to have a robust offense. I like the Falcon pick, the tight end. Uh, Philadelphia looks like a dumpster fire to me. I like the idea of getting Atlanta at home at a minus 160. Next, I did this bet on the 5th of September. I got the Los Angeles Rams at home at a minus 340. I believe Matthew Stafford, who once carried me in a fantasy pool, is a major upgraded quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams. Right? Andy Dalton and the Bears, uh, I'm a skeptic. Justin Fields, I'm a skeptic this early in his career. I think the Rams have a spectacular defense. I think Aaron Donald is going to torment whoever the quarterback of the Bears is. Uh, Jalen Ramsey is an A-plus player in the Rams secondary. I think the Rams are blessed on both sides of the ball. Next, I like, let's see, um, on the first, just a throwaway pick here, for AP Comeback Player of the Year. I like Jameis Winston at a plus 1,000. I'm getting 10 to 1 odds um, with a guy 
on a team with a Super Bowl winning quarterback, excuse me, Super Bowl winning head coach, and with a team that statistically was uh, excellent both offensively and defensively last year. I don't think we appreciate how much Drew Brees was holding that team back last year. Also, uh, on the first for AP Offensive Rookie of the Year. I like Mac Jones at a plus 400. Right? He's going to start from day one. Some of these other rookies, Justin Fields, for example, might be talented but are not going to start. Let's just say two. Trevor Lawrence doesn't have as much to work with in Jacksonville as Mac Jones has in New England. If Mac Jones is an above average quarterback, he's going to dominate the sports page for rookies, right? We're not going to fall in love with a running back, Najee Harris or whoever, like we would a quarterback in a high profile situation with a high profile coach. Finally, on the 31st of August, I got the Denver Broncos laying two and a half points over the New York Giants, right, in New York. Um, let me just say, this pick, to me, makes itself. I think Denver is a qualitatively better team than the Giants, much better defensively. The fact that they've also switched from Drew Locke to Teddy Bridgewater, who gamblers know, is one of the better quarterbacks on the road covering point spreads in the entire league makes this play an easy one to make. Also, I'm not worried about Denver traveling to the East Coast. Uh, in September, as I would be if Denver were traveling to the East Coast from the Pacific or Mountain Time Zones, later in the year, right? This is the first game of the season. So the team doesn't have the short turnaround that they would have midseason. So I like Denver laying two and a half points on the road at the Giants. Those are the plays I'm going with for week one. Let me hear from you. If there are any picks that you want to share here on YouTube, I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.